Today I want to show you how to run Cisco WLAN controller on a virtual box. So this is a MacBook. I usually use my MacBook, but at the same time I am running my Windows 7 and a Linux operating system which is Ubuntu on my MacBook to make things easier because I do a lot of things uh, with different operating systems. Anyway, so let's start first that what you need to have to run a Cisco WLAN controller you need to have a virtual box on your MacBook or any of the operating system you are having and then you need to have two necessary files one is this file uh, this is the WLAN controller virtual one and this is the ISO file which is the image to run this will allow you to run the kernel on your virtual box for WLAN controller and this will initiate uh, installing the WLAN controller on your virtual box so let's do it uh, I am downloading this file on my Ubuntu let's go to this so I'll go to the site uh, this is a Cisco site and you need to have a login and account with this and then you have to follow this path and find it if you are not very sure just type in this in the search field and you will we should be able to direct you will be directed to this location anyway so this is the path if you want to note it down it will be good and this is the file you need to have and it's a 60 days evaluation so just 16 60 days you are getting to do some practice and this is the file this is an OVA file so this is uh, the main reason why I'm showing this because you won't have the ISO file when you are downloading so you have to unzip it somehow and uh, get things going so I have downloaded this this file yesterday as you can see and this is the file name and with an extension of OVEA I normally those people who run Linux are quite happy running their CLI and uh, if you can see if I go to downloads it's already there but if I try to type in the name and unzip it to get the ISO file it won't work so there's no point doing it here and uh, there are some other ways but it is the the way I'm telling you here is quite easy and quite quick so you go to this folder the downloads folder first and you can see this file here this is a tar file but right click on it and open with archive mounter you can see this is already mounted now and you can see this uh, particular file which you will be needing it to run your WN controller on virtual box so once you get this file you only need these file so you copy it paste it on a USB send it to a USB somehow you get that file and transfer it to your MacBook which I did already once I do that I have to run this this OVA file with VirtualBox it will take some time so I'll take a break I'll come back to you and show you the settings once you run this VirtualBox you need to have these settings So uh, since I already have it, I just want to show you this, the details of it. So when you are running the WLAN controller kernel first on your virtual box, these are the settings, as you can see, and it will automatically create this WMDK file. Um, and the optical drive, you have to choose 
uh, that will be this ISO file for the first time when you are running the kernel right so these are the settings actually and once you have done it you have to once you have done it uh, this WN controller should work what you have to do it once it is running uh, you have to stop the, the virtual box on this particular WN controller powered off and then unmount that uh, disk image let's start running this and see how it goes here it is so let's see right so this is the first step and from here on onwards you should be fine if you know how to configure the w1 controller thank you for watching hope you liked it